hello everyone let's provide a solution to this problem we have square root of 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 2 equal to 27 divided by 8 um, this is not that hard what we have to do is making sure that the bases are the same Okay, and to do that, remember that if you have um, anything like a to the power, okay, square root of a, this is the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2. So I will do the same thing here now, and I will have 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over 2. And then the power of x plus 2. x plus 2 will still appear. And this is equal to 27 here is 3 to the power of 3. And then 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So from here we can see that we are having the same power. So we're going to work on that as well. From here, if you have two powers like this, you multiply them. So we are going to have 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 2 over 2. Okay, because if you multiply anything by half, it means you are dividing it by 2. This is equal to... Now, both of them are having power of 3. So I can put 3 over 2 both to the power of 3. This means that both of them are working with the power of 3. Now, how do we get the same base? This is 2 over 3, and this is 3 over 2. I'm going to turn this around. So I have 2 over 3. I'm not changing the left-hand side yet. So I have x plus 2 over 2, which is equal to, on this side, I'm going to have 2 over 3 now. Since I have turned this upside down, I will have negative power. Then multiply this by the original power of 3. Okay. Now what do I do? 2 over 3 on the left to the power of x plus 2 over 2 is equal to 2 over 3 on the right to the power of negative 3. Because negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Now we have the same basis. And that's what we have, <clears throat> that is what we have been looking for from the start. Now, if the basis are the same, you work with the powers, right? So x plus 2 over 2 will be equal to negative 3. Now, the next thing is this. This is over 1. I can cross multiply. As I have x plus 2 to be equal to 2 multiplied by negative 3. Now, what do I do? x plus 2 is equal to negative 6. And then if I collect like terms, x will be equal to negative 6 minus 2. So x will give us negative 8. Now, I want us to check to know whether we are right or wrong. And from doing this, we will also learn how to solve um, equations. Now, the original equation is square root of 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 2. And this is equal to 27 over 8 from the original equation. Now, what is x? We are going to put 2 over 3 square root to the power of negative 8 plus 2. And this is because our x is negative 8. This means that we are having 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over 2. I've removed the square root, right? Then to the power of minus 8 plus 2 will give um, minus some um, 6. And then... 2 will go into this to give us negative 3, right? So this means that we will be having 2 over 3 to the power of negative 3.
And then what does this mean? Don't you know that we can remove this negative by turning this around just like we did before? Okay, so if I have 3 over 2, then I have to the power of 3. The negative is no longer there. And from here, 3 to the power of 3 will give 27. And 2 to the power of 3 is giving us some um, 8. Okay, so this is the confirm that um, our x to be equal to minus 8 is very correct. Thank you for watching.